Facebook. What's going on? Uh, glad to be talking to you today. We've got some really exciting news. Uh, one of our staff members, Josh McLeod, and his wife are having a baby today. We're going to be welcoming baby Nora into uh, our family at the Christian Life Ranch. So drop a congratulations in the comments there for Josh and pretty stoked about that. Hey, yesterday when we were talking a little bit on Facebook, somebody dropped a question in there. Um, how, how do I see signs of relapse? What are some of the signs, and especially with all the stress that's going on right now with COVID-19 and the quarantining and, you know, a lot of the businesses closing their doors, um, which restaurants and that kind of thing that has put a lot of financial stress. And so somebody was asking, hey, how do I know? And from a biblical standpoint, uh, it always comes to me as Proverbs 18.1. And it basically says that a man uh, who isolates himself seeks his own desire. He rages against all wise judgment. And simply put, when, when you start seeing your loved one isolate, uh, pushing back on responsibilities, <clears throat> uh, short-tempered, uh, you start seeing some impulsive behaviors and those kinds of things that um, start getting angry about accountability. Uh, those are some great telltale signs that your loved one might be uh, in relapse mode because relapse happens long before you ever pick up. It's really just a, a way of thinking, a way of perceiving the world, a way of perceiving pressure. And what happens is um, when we lose that connection with with one another and with the Lord, uh, we go back, we default, we go to our default settings and we start to look for things that will ease the pain or bring relief. And so that is a real good way to uh, put like a, a cover on it to say, hey, is my loved one doing okay? A lot of times when guys graduate Teen Challenge, we want to preface they're completing that, hey, there's some things you have to do on purpose. And one of those is you got to be in community. And you have to be in relationship with people that are like-minded. You have to be uh, accountable. And that doesn't mean, uh, that type of accountability doesn't mean you have someone going around policing your behavior. It means that you're willfully submitted to somebody else's mentorship. And that is just a great picture of discipleship, really. Because true discipleship is basically truth being transmitted through relationship. And so I just thought it would be a great thing, a great little snippet just to put in there uh, for relapse. Since, you know, that's what we do. That's our heartbeat at Teen Challenge. And like I said yesterday, ministry has not stopped at our Teen Challenge centers. And uh, we're blessed. We have a great family of Teen Challenge centers. And uh, we have our uh, two men's induction centers. We have one in Tucson. So if you have loved ones in Tucson that need help, reach out to David Walensky at the Tucson Center. Uh, man, he is a great guy, totally been through it, and somebody that can connect with addiction. Uh, God has delivered him, and he's been the director now for some 10 years, I believe, and he's a graduate and a great guy. So that'd be a great connection for those of, uh, looking for help for men in Tucson. We also have our Springboard home in uh, Oro Valley in Tucson. And Springboard is Springboard for Girls in Crisis. And Georgia is our director there. She's a great gal, uh, but she is really just focused on uh, teen girls. And so if you need help, reach out to the Springboard home. And then we have our men's home, uh, our men's induction center in Phoenix, which is ran by Jim Moyer. Jim Moore does a great job. So if, you, if you're looking to get help immediately within the, the Metro Phoenix area, uh, I mean, of course, you can call on us and we'll get you connected with Jim. But that's where the guys will start, usually at the induction centers. And so reach out to Jim. And then we have our women uh, and women with children. It's one of the first of its kind in the nation. And basically, uh, it's where moms have kids. And a lot of times, they won't get help. They won't. Uh, reach out and get help from somebody because they have kids. And so what's unique to that is that they'll be able to bring their young ones in with them. We have a DES uh, certified child care, and uh, Teresa does a great job there. And all of these programs that we're talking about within our Teen Challenge family uh, can all be found on our website at tcaz.org. And we have a get help link. And so if you know someone that needs help, these are, these are easy ways for you to connect. 
The other thing, too, that I want to remind you, too, is that we have our corporate office in Tucson. And, uh, and our, our executive director, Snow Peabody, does a great uh, job of leadership. I mean, he's just a, an amazing leader over all of it. And uh, they, of course, will help you with referrals or anything that, that you would need to get help with. And so feel free to reach out to us through Facebook. Uh, all of us have our own Facebook uh, or through the website. And, uh, yeah, so that's a great way for you to connect with us. And so do we have some people online yet? Uh, yeah, Josh wants to know what uh, someone should do if they think their loved one might have relapsed. Well, that's a great question. And, and one of the things that, that you should always be prepared to do in those situations is to defer. Reach out. You want to get help outside of your own ability. Because a lot of times, if you're not sure, you want to find out. And then once you find out, then, then it's a process of accountability because you don't want them using in your household. You don't want them, you know, using drugs in your house. And so there's some steps, some practical steps. Call on us. We would love to help you. We were, that's what we do. So if you, if you need help, if you suspect someone has relapsed, call us and we'll coach you through it. And it's really the simplest way because that's what we do on the day-to-day -day basis. Um, let's see, what else? Hey, you know what? We got a, we got a great little um, uh, two-minute um, testimony from Cody Price. He's our restoration coordinator here at the ranch. And why don't we pan to that real quick, and uh, I think you'll be blessed by his story. Thanks. My name's Cody Price. I'm the restoration coordinator and night evening class um, teacher's assistant. I, I love to be outdoors. I love, I love kayaking. I love hiking. You know, if you, I'm not, if I'm not in here in the office, then you probably can catch me out on a trail. I am a restoration student as well, and it's kind of a special thing because restoration guys, after they've completed, and it didn't quite work out for them, um, and they've decided that they needed to come back. So we get a hold of them here and they're able to come in for their restoration and it's a six month commitment. And what we do during that six months is we work with them. We really try to figure out what the core issue is that they may be neglected to pay attention to originally. Um, you go to Coffee Cross Cause. Oh, did it really? Oh, no, that's all right. Hey, so you saw the pictures. <laughs> hey, we're learning here. So our coffee comes in three different roasts. We have dark, medium, and light roast. And uh, that is freshly roasted right here on our property. And I uh, encourage you to do that. And then crosses. These are made by our guys right here on site as well. And it's a great gift. Uh, put it in your office. I have one in mind. And I use that to remind me to pray. You know, in these times, uh, I, I'm just always reminded that God can be trusted. And it's hard to go through some of the things that we're going through right now. <clears throat> but I still choose to trust my God. Amen. So with that, <clears throat> um, reach out to us on coffeecrosscause.org. You can make your orders there. Uh, text to give, you text CLR to 41444, and that's a great way to connect that way as well. And uh, hey, I just want to open this up. Did anyone else have any more questions uh, that they would have for us um, You know, before we close this out? I know I kind of shotgunned really fast through some of the stuff, but I wanted to give uh, all our friends and family an overview of all the different programs that we have in Arizona, and just a great way for us to to help our loved ones, and especially in our city and our state. And yeah, so a pretty awesome, you know, to be in, alive in these times. I was chewing on uh, 
you know, all of this uh, being quarantined and, and uh, almost a forced rest. But I got to thinking today that some of the greatest things happened when folks were isolated. Like in the Bible, when John was isolated, he had uh, wrote Revelation. Uh, I think about Paul. Every time he was imprisoned uh, or had uh, isolation, he, was, he wrote the New Testament for us, you know. So just really some cool things have come out of uh, forced rest periods. Well, uh, I really, that's about all I had to share today. I just wanted to uh, make a habit of getting online and, and praying for you and encouraging you um, and thanking you uh, for uh, being a part of the Christian Life Ranch Teen Challenge and helping us uh, put hope within reach of every addict. I thank you so much for your time today, and God bless you.